Let's turn to another neighbor, Juan Perez, who lives near the home where all of this unfolded. Mr. Perez, good morning to you. It's good to have you with us. Good morning to you. Sir, how long have you lived in this home? As I understand it, you're right next door. And did you ever see anything that would have raised suspicions? I've been in the neighborhood for 22 years, um, since I was five. Um, and no, I, I can't lie, I've never seen anything that raised any suspicion. I've never seen anything that, you know, made me feel uncomfortable enough to call the police. Um, I just saw someone who was very nice, charismatic, uh, helpful for the community uh, on the street, and he even helped fix my tire once, you know. I never thought nothing of it. I've known him since I was a kid. You're talking about the man who lives there, who we now understand is under arrest, along with a couple of other men. What do you remember about him? And is it somebody that you know well, someone you interacted with frequently? Um, I've known him since I was a child. Um, he was someone that would always see me, say hi, spark conversation. Um, I've just talked to him like he was a, a, a neighbor, like uh, nothing, nothing too extreme. We weren't, you know, friends, or, like best friends. We didn't, you know, have our own personal time. But it was always just, uh, hey, how are you? Um, do you need help with this? Do you need help with that? Kind of a relationship. But did I you, knew him very well. You did know, you ever, case. I'm sorry to interrupt, did you ever yeah. see any women coming and going from that home? I've never seen anybody come in and out of that home. I thought that the home was vacant. I thought he probably had another property and he would just come and check and see if everything's okay. I've never, I didn't, I didn't even know anybody lived there, to tell you the truth. One of our producers who I think you spoke to before we came on the air said that you did recall one incident, I guess a couple of years ago, where you heard a scream coming from that general area. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, we heard a scream, but we, we, we didn't know the, where exactly the scream was coming from because we were inside the house. This was a few years ago. Um, there was a difference between, you know, a playful, joking around scream with friends and this kind of scream. This kind of scream, you know, had my sister call the police to make a report. Um, and that was just a few years ago. I don't, I don't remember exactly when. I'm sorry. Were you familiar with the cases of these three missing women? As we understand, they all went missing separately, but this happened in your general area. You're a longtime resident. Uh, did, had you heard of these young women who had been missing, and what was your reaction to find out they had been living next door? Um, I was aware of Gina Jesus and Amanda Berry. Um, I wasn't too familiar with the third lady that they found. Um, I have a lot of mutual friends that know the ladies very well and uh, when I found out you know I, I know I was supposed to feel I was excited and happy that they found them but to tell you the truth you know I felt like a tug in my heart like I, I was like a little drunk with emotion because to know that they were two houses from me 10 years I never saw anything nobody really saw anything it just made me feel like we, we could have helped earlier so I don't really know how to feel to tell you the truth. Well, Juan Perez, I think everyone can relate to that emotion, and we really appreciate you coming on and shedding some light um, on what's been going on. Thank you so much. Thank you.